from my window Sun's coming up like the day before You're like a stone on my pillow I don't make a sound when I shut the door officially open this vlog because i feel like i've just been filming like i've just been filming anyways my name is antoinette welcome to this video welcome to my channel if it's your first time and please make sure you subscribe okay because you're going to definitely enjoy it here so um welcome to this vlog guys like i don't know where this vlog is going but this is just one of those chilled home vlogs i think it's been long since i posted my last um you know such vlogs i mean it's been a while since i posted chilled vlogs like this so this is one of those vlogs where i just get to do things at home chilled relax and all those things and this is the weekend so yesterday i took down my braids as you guys can see but i still look pretty okay i still look pretty and that's on period if you not believe rest <laughs> i still look good so today i i took down my braids yesterday and i washed the hair yesterday but today i just want to straighten my hair a little bit you know just test my new straightener i mean i've not like i've never used those things by myself i just use them when i go to the salon and then they use a straightener so i don't know if i'll be able to use the straightener but i'm going to try and see okay that is why i bought it and you guys i've been trying to get one of these for the longest of times you guys longest time and this is called claire style so um i had that if you want to get good quality you don't need to get the ones that are coming in boxes brand new and all of those things because most times they are chinese made even though most of the things that we use in africa are chinese made <laughs> to be honest but i mean not very good quality chinese made the new ones that are coming so if you want to have like very good quality for cheap then it's advisable you find junks that means used stuff okay when it comes to things like this and you guys can see how i mean by the 
by the the cord you can see how strong this is like it is really 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 strong and this thing can get hot for africa like it really gets hot and i'm going to try and see how that works with my hair and things just to look like a real human being then we plan to wash our feet uh, my husband and I because it's been a while like my feet need serious 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 cleaning serious washing and in fact my husband he does not like to go out to get his feet cleaned he's just like in his head he's like that is women's stuff you know so most times we do it at home so today as I'm going to be doing his he's going to be doing mine and that's just basically what's up so you guys enjoy this very see i'm looking all around because there is one particular house fly that has refused to give me rest and i hate i hate house flies you guys i hate them i hate them if i see one i either kill that one or drive it away you you just have to choose one either you go out or you die in here because i just can't that is why i like to close doors and all of those things but it is what it is. It is what it is. I want it to be mine, to be mine. My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah. You know I want him now, 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 now. My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah. I told him I can be a fighter if you want. I'll be there to catch you if you fall. I can make it bright. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Make a go now. Oh. See where you can go now. Don't make up yes. for you. Need to understand me. But. But So. You turn and go so. Uh huh. Wahala. make it That's my girl. I did this ordinary and I make it smoke. You know, put some in this year, no, yeah? Watch. Watch this, huh? Whoa, Mrs. Mara. Good morning. You do it for me, too. I can be a fighter.
Slippy. Yes, Cash. For sure. Send music down for Claire. right here and right now and you guys i did my hair today tried the flattener thing to do bob but it's just it, it just turned out looking like one of those 60s styles and i definitely can get better with this it's just a matter of time but anyways you guys this is why i want to end this vlog with just a quick talk on something okay basically a rant on something that i noticed remember i told you guys i went to the east part of freetown on you know one of these days and i bought the flatna at kissy road you guys i saw lots of beggars and i don't i don't understand like this is a major major sign of poverty i know Sierra Leone is poor okay even though we have all the natural resources you name them but we are poor that is just the fact that is clear the country is poor but the length at which this is going it's just outrageous like i just can't believe it when i saw beggars on the streets of freetown kissy road like old young children and all sorts they were all there physically challenged everyone and they literally run after your vehicle just to get a little something at the end of the day and i was like what's going on like is everybody turning into beggars is everybody going into the street to beg because the jobs the pay the cost of living like everything is just not adding up i remember someone talking about um the salary right now and it's better be it's been better than you know the past and i was like well the salary the amount itself is better that than it's been in the past because i remember my dad was receiving like very little as a teacher little like very very little as compared to what the teachers are now and of course the teachers are on strike for their salary increase that's just another story for another day but and what i'm trying to say is back in the days the salary was small yeah but it was enough to take care of our needs like i never went to bed hungry with my family you know it was just my, my dad's salary was just okay to bring us a bag of rice at the end of the month you know money for sauce and other upkeeps that like, it was not much compared to what teachers are now but then the cost of living was not that high so eh? Yeah, inflation. Prices are skyrocketing, but then the salary is not increasing, basically. So, my dad was earning very little as a teacher. My dad taught for 40 something years and he did it with passion because it was okay to feed his family. He did all he could with that money and then to take us to the hospital to do all sorts he was able to do all of those basic things with his earning but now even if you earn 10 million in Sierra Leone like it can basically take you nowhere you can you can just live like a very basic lifestyle 10 15 million you're just living a basic lifestyle you know because things are expensive things are way expensive i was speaking to um a family member that came for vacation recently and she was like the cost of living like when she went to the market and then for one piece of kuta it was very expensive and this person is coming from the uk okay and she was like you guys spend a lot in my head i'm like and we don't even earn that much so it's like everyone is a magician in Sierra Leone currently people are just living I don't, I don't understand like at the end of the day when you look at your salary and what you spent for the month you wonder how you manage to pull through throughout that month okay so i don't whew, what is going on is everybody becoming beggars because i know these are people that yes yeah, some wants to be on the streets but some don't want to be on the streets i mean for the older women the older men the physically challenged people you can say they don't have another way around okay they don't have another way out i know you say there are physically challenged people living in other countries that are doing great things but you don't have the opportunity to even do the great things when you are physically abled not to talk about when you are disabled so it's a huge huge challenge and that is a big sign of poverty like the things are getting worse here in Sierra Leone and you guys like you can't go out without counting 
beggars i mean for around lomli you can count them you can literally count them but then when you go to kisi road or when you go to the central part of freetown pz area you can't count them like there are just too many you cannot count them and they you know how bees run after you yeah that is how they run after your car when you're passing by and it makes me sick like to my stomach i just wonder what will happen in the future you know two years to come three years to come what is becoming of sierra leone it is scary anyways i can go on and on and on but again i don't want to be hungry because last last <laughs> food is expensive anyways guys let me know where you're watching from are you watching from sierra leone which part of sierra leone what is the cost of living like in your area drop it down in the comment section and if you are living out of Sierra Leone, let me know as well. Because I know this thing is worldwide, but I tell you, when I tell you Sierra Leone, the one in Sierra Leone is just times 10. Believe me when I say it is times 10. You can tell me fear prices in other countries, like it's expensive, yes, but when it comes to Sierra Leone, it is times 10. And the worst part of it is because we don't earn as much. Because if you earn and then you have to spend, it's, it makes sense because you have the money to spend but then if you earn and then your money is not enough to pay for your bills then it's sick anyways thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you guys in my next one Bye.